Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at how to set up headphone queuing in Mixvibe's cross-DJ software. Before we dive into the software, I want to take a moment to talk about what you'll need from a hardware perspective. To properly set up headphone queuing, you will need an audio interface with two or more stereo outputs. This could either be a MIDI controller or mixer with a built-in audio interface, or a separate audio interface that you will have connected to your computer. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using a Behringer UMC 204 HD audio interface, which is connected to my computer via USB. On the back of the UMC 204 HD is a pair of stereo RCA outputs labeled A and B. There is also a pair of one quarter inch outputs labeled main out, which mirror the A RCA output. If I was using this audio interface in a performance environment, I would connect the A RCA output or the one quarter inch main out to the speaker system or the mixer which goes into the speaker system. On the front of the UMC 204 HD is a one quarter inch headphone jack and a button that switches between output A and output B. The ability to choose which output to monitor is the key to setting up headphone queuing with this audio interface. Okay, so now that we've gone over the hardware side of things, let's jump into the software. In Cross DJ, you want to open the preferences by clicking on the cogwheel icon up in the top left of the software. Then you're gonna wanna go to the audio tab. By default, your computer's built-in sound card will probably be selected as the audio interface to use, but we want to use our external audio interface. So we're gonna change that by clicking on this drop-down menu here. Now you can see that my Behringer UMC 204 HD is listed under the direct sound section up here, but we actually want to use the ASIO driver for the UMC, which is located all the way down here at the bottom. So we're gonna select that, and now we're telling Cross DJ not to use the built-in sound card of my laptop, but rather the external audio interface that I have connected. Before we go any further, I wanna make sure that the two outputs on the UMC 204 HD are recognized and mapped correctly. I can see that for output one, it's using out one and out two, and for output two, it's using out three and out four. So that is correct, but if I needed to change that, I could click on the drop down menu for each output and then select the proper output that I wanted to use. But since these were automatically detected, I'm just going to leave them as is. The next step will be to map the software outputs from Cross DJ to the hardware outputs on our sound card. To do that, I need to change the routing mode. Right now, the routing mode is set to simple stereo, but we need to change that. So we're gonna click on the drop-down menu where it says simple stereo, and then we're gonna select dual stereo. At the bottom of this preferences window, we can see how Cross DJ is mapping its internal outputs to our sound card. So at the top, we have the sound card outputs, and at the bottom is what Cross DJ is going to be sending to that output. Output one, which is output A, or the main out on our audio interface, is mapped to Cross DJ's master output. And output two, which is output B on our audio interface, is mapped to Cross DJ's Q output. These settings are correct for my audio interface and how I'm going to be using it. But remember that yours might be slightly different, so you may need to change what is routed to output one and two so that this setup will be correct for you. The next thing to do would be to plug my headphones into the UMC 204 HD, and then I'm going to switch the monitor to output B, as that is the one that Cross DJ assigned as the Q output. There are a few other settings that I want to cover in Cross DJ. Let's close the preferences and then look at some of the controls in the top right of the user interface. There are three knobs next to the clock and master output volume meter. In this video, we're only going to focus on the left and center knobs. The leftmost knob, labeled Q, adjusts the volume of the Q output. Turning the Q knob from left to right will increase the volume out of the Q output. The middle knob, labeled Mix, will change what you hear in your headphones while you're queuing. With the mix knob all the way to the left, you will only hear the decks that you have queue enabled on. 
As you move the knob to the right, you will start to mix the Q signal with the master output. With the mix knob all the way to the right, you will only hear the master output. My sound card is all set up and I'm ready to go to start queuing up tracks in my headphones. As a reminder, I'm demonstrating how to set up headphone queuing using the hardware that I have available. You will need to adjust these instructions to match the outputs that you have available on your MIDI controller or mixer with a built-in audio interface or a separate audio interface like I am doing. I hope that you enjoyed this video on how to set up headphone queuing in Mixvibes Cross DJ. If you want to learn more about Cross DJ, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel and subscribe to get notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.